क्वेश्चन नंबर 86 इन क्वेश्चन नंबर 86 स्टेटमेंट 1 इज गिवन अ स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ए व्हिच इज पीरियोडिक एंड सेटिस्फाइज दिस इक्वेशन वेयर एम दिस एम टेक्स एग्जैक्टली 5 इंटीग्रल वैल्यूज बिटवीन 15 एंड 51 so in statement 1 it is given that then fundamental period of a is 5 now if a raised power 51 is equal to this and equal to a raised power 51 and it is given that m takes exactly 5 integral values between 15 and 51 if m takes 5 values between 15 and 51 Then it is obvious that difference of 15 and 51 that is 36. So M takes these five values 21, 27, 33, 39 and next is 45 and next will be 51. 15 and 51 difference is 36. So spacing of 6 21, 27, 33, 39, 45. We can say that A raised power 15 is equal to A raised power 21 equal to a raised power 27 equal to a raised power 33 equal to a raised power 39 equal to a raised power 45 equal to a raised power 51 if a is periodic then a raised power 15 is equal to this is equal to a raised power 27 and all they are equal so m takes these five values between 15 and 51 so we can say that fundamental period of a is 6 but in statement 1, it is given fundamental period of A is 5. So, statement number 1 is false. Now, if we come to statement number 2, this is statement number 1. Statement number 2. In statement 2, it is given for any square matrix A, if A raised to power K plus 1 is equal to A for some positive integral values of K, then A is periodic with positive least integral value of k as fundamental period. This is quite obvious. If a is periodic, then a raised power k plus 1 must be equal to k, where k is fundamental period. So, statement 2 is absolute, absolutely correct. So, statement 1 is false and statement 2 is true and according to given option, option number 4 is correct. Statement 1 is false, statement 2 is true because according to statement 1, period of A is 6 but it is given period of A is 5 and this is quite obvious for periodic A raised power K plus 1 equal to K where K is fundamental period of this matrix. In question number 88, this is given S1 equal to A plus A plus D plus A plus 2D up to a plus n minus 1 into d. S2 is given alpha plus alpha r plus alpha r square up to alpha r raised to power n minus 1, where A, D, alpha and r all are positive. Now, statement 1 is given if a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to alpha r raised power n minus 1, then S2 is less than S1. If you look at this question, this is summation of AP, this is summation of GP. All the quantities are positive, but in statement 1, it is given that nth term of AP and nth term of GP are equal. And we know that if nth term of AP and nth term of GP are same, then we cannot conclude about its summation. I mean that we cannot conclude that which sum is greater, which sum is less. So we can't say S1 is greater or S2 is greater. And it is statement 1 given S2 is less than S1, but we can't conclude which sum is greater. So statement 1 is absolutely false. Now statement 2. Its summation simply depends on common difference of AP and common ratio of GP but this nth term are equal so we can't conclude which sum is greater 
it only depends on common difference of AP and common ratio of GP. So statement 1 is absolutely false. Now statement 2. Statement 2 it is given that the geometric mean of any two unequal positive integers is always less than their arithmetic mean. It is quite obvious. We know that if there are two quantities A and B and which are positive integers. If A and B are positive integers, then we know that arithmetic mean is always greater than equal to geometric mean. And arithmetic mean is always greater than geometric mean if A and B are unequal positive integers. If A and B are equal positive inter integers, then A is equal to G. But it is given that A and B, two positive integers, are unequal. So it's quite obvious that A is greater than G. If A is equal to G, capital A equal to A capital G, then these two positive integers must be equal. So the arithmetic mean of two positive integers, rather I should say two unequal positive integers, then arithmetic mean is always greater than geometric mean or you can say geometric mean is always less than arithmetic mean. So statement 2 is true and according to given option, option number 4th is correct. Option number 4th, statement 1 is false, statement 2 is true.